Hi, welcome to Bar Cart Bookshelf, a video series about books and the drinks they inspire. My name is Elias, and today we're talking about The Blade Between by Sam J. Miller. Today is the 4th of October. It is the start of spooky season, and uh, in keeping with the seasonal delights ahead of us for the month of October, we will be celebrating Spooky Season 2, Necrotic Bookaloo, here on Bar Cart Bookshelf with some horror and spooky reads coming at you all month long. And I'm so excited to be talking about The Blade Between to uh, get this month's programming kicked off in a major way. It is a really deliciously nasty horror novel set in the town of Hudson in upstate New York. It's gritty and it's grimy and it's sort of smoky and oily in a way like whale fat rendered and made into grime and smoke and anger. And it is a book that I have been really thinking about all year long because I have not read it in the past week or so. I read this back in January and I sat and I thought about it and I tried to figure out what our drink was going to be and I just couldn't get it out of my head. And so now here at the start of October, I am so excited to finally feel like I can talk about it and share with all of you. So, as I said, it's a horror novel set in upstate New York. It's the story of Ronan Chepezi, a, a big city New York photographer who comes back home to his childhood home and discovers that the town is being uh, in the process of being gentrified and things that had existed in Hudson are sort of fading away. Uh, and he takes this personally and uh, he reacts in a way that is not the healthiest. And uh, so we get to see this wonderful tension between a deeply angry and deeply hurt character who is fighting for something that maybe doesn't totally exist maybe should exist, is just wonderfully complicated in a way that a city should be. And that's, I think, one of the hallmarks of Miller's work, is this really marvelous understanding of urbanism and the complexity of urbanism uh, that comes through in his science fiction novel, Blackfish City, and it really does come through here in The Blade Between as well. As I've said, it's just wonderfully nasty and difficult work and the character of Ronan is one who you're sort of drawn to but it makes your skin crawl and it does everything that uh, a horror novel should do and really uh, makes your skin crawl in the best possible way. It is deliciously angry and queer. Um, Ronan as part of his sort of anti-gentrification revenge plot uh, you know, stained with the sins of everyone who has come before, creates this fake profile uh, for online dating and hookup apps. Tom Minnick, who sort of grows into this embodiment of anger and rage and yearning and desirability that people can project on and that uh, sort of gets out of hand in the way that you expect from a horror novel. And just such delicious fury, um, and in a way that really makes you complicit as things sort of spiral out of control. Uh, and so, of course, in my thinking about this for months and months and months, I finally had to come to the idea of, of what our drink is going to be. So without any further ado, I would like to turn to our first drink of Spooky Season 2, Necrotic Bookaloo, uh, the harpoon inspired by The Blade Between by Sam J. Miller. We're going to start with two ounces of rye whiskey. The uh, sort of lead gentrifier in the novel is a uh, tech billionaire, Jark Trouse, 
uh, sort of a Peter Thiel kind of character. Uh, and one of his characteristics is that he drinks very expensive rye whiskey. And so I had to get a very excellent, very cheap rye whiskey to uh, use for today's cocktail. My go-to rye whiskey when I'm mixing up drinks is Old Overholt here. You can get it for uh, $20 a bottle instead of 215 as we see in the novel. Uh, really tip-top, top quality uh, rye whiskey that's available at a real bargain bin price and one that I think is a nice little uh, jab at the um, less savory um, and more ostentatious uh, qualities of this character. So we're going to get a full two ounces of our rye whiskey into our mixing glass. Now we're going to get this classic bittersweet liqueur, Campari, nice rich red. It is a nice bloody novel and it has got this really sort of bitterness, the same sort of bitterness that we saw in Lara Elena Donnelly's thriller um, back in February, Base Notes. Uh, and so it feels right to use a sort of bittersweet liqueur in here as well. And that classic red bitter in Campari. We're going to get three quarters of an ounce in there. And you can already see how dark and rich and red our cocktail is going to be. Now to add just a touch of balance, a bit of sweetness, I'm going to get a quarter of an ounce of black cherry grenadine just a wee bit, still that sort of angry red in there as well. And then to really finish things off, I have a very special ingredient. Uh, this is acid phosphate. It's made by a small bitters company up in Maine called Owl and Whale. You can see we've got the whale here on the cover of The Blade Between. Whales play a very prominent role in the novel, and so it feels very appropriate to be using an owl and whale product in our harpoon, our blade between cocktail. And this is acid phosphate. It is really the essence of sour, a pure concentration of tart, pucker, sour sharpness, and um, one that feels right for some of the anger that we see in the novel. It's also going to balance out some of the sweetness that we get from the Campari and the black cherry grenadine. It's a great ingredient to use um, in stirred cocktails where we typically don't see some sour flavors and so uh, we get a little bit of a surprise in our slow, supple, stirred cocktail here. We're going to want to get two dropperfuls of that. If you snag a bottle of acid phosphate, I do encourage you to have a little taste, a uh, drop or two on the back of your hand, just to see the intensity of that pucker there. It really does feel uh, like some of the anger that we see in the blade between. All right, now we're going to get our ice into our mixing glass. Wonderful, wonderful. And we'll begin to stir. So, again, some real explorations of masculinity, the relationship that we have with our families, with our hometowns. That's a sort of a recurring theme in the, the horror books that I really enjoy and, and like to feature here on Bark Heart Bookshelf. And um, just, I can't get over, even nine months later, how viscerally angry and uh, how complicit I was made in that anger, even when it goes into uh, a dangerous territory. So very wonderfully creepy, uh, a lot to say about some big ideas, and um, one that, that will linger with you for a long time. We'll take our julep strainer, get that into the mixing glass, and strain into our Manhattan glass there right up to the edge. <laughs> so there you have it. This is the Harpoon, inspired by The Blade Between by Sam J. Miller. 
The Blade Between is available now. Got a link to snag the book down below, as well as a link to the Boston Shaker, where we get all of our tools and ingredients, including the very special acid phosphate uh, used in today's recipe. Please uh, check out our links to Twitter and Instagram as well, where there's always a written version of today's recipe. Make sure that you're tuning in every Tuesday uh, this month for a brand new cocktail or mocktail inspired by a horror or spooky read. Uh, make sure you've got that like button hit down below, that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Share with your friends, read this book, you will think about it for months, if not years, and until next time, cheers. <laughs>